Good evening everybody and welcome to my hurricane forecast. Today I'm going to be talking about Invest 95L. Now this is the latest advisory which is the 2 a.m. advisory because right now it's 12.52 a.m. Now it's in the morning and you can see that at this point you can see that this is Invest 95L and it currently has a 20% chance of formation in the next five days and in the next 48 hours a low 20% now chances may increase on this because as we know like about one day ago the chances was that a low 10% for this and the National Hurricane Center extended the cone and they actually raise chances for development now it's expected to move in that general direction and may potentially affect Puerto Rico and Haiti and may affect Cuba if as we get closer out about five days out long term in long term in a long term effect it will definitely affect that area especially Haiti because you could see that at around the end of this cone you could see that the development is possible and you could see that the 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 track is very long for this storm which means that we are going to be tracking this storm for a very long time and there may potentially be another tropical wave that we may have to watch that may come off the coast of africa and i'm going to be talking about that in my next forecast so right now we're going to be forecast focusing on invest 90 95 l because that seems to be the main one but although there's one in the east coast i already issued advisors on that and this is my another advisor on invest 95 l now you can see that it's currently in that area and it's expected to move north westward over the next five days and could in a long term effect it may affect Haiti because it may be moving in that area and may affect the northern like the Antilles and potentially Puerto Rico and that's going to be very significant because the models do show this affect you guys at almost the end of the run because it's going to be moving slow now right now currently saharan dust is affecting this which means that it cannot develop um very quickly and intensify hence the reasons why the national hurricane center gives this a 20 percent chance of formation in the next um 48 hours and throughout the next five days at 30 percent because it may have a chance of formation as it gets into as it enters the western caribbean because water temperatures are warm in that area and seem to be favorable for development so guys we're going to have to continue to watch this because if anything it might turn into a tropical depression or storm because we know that when things do enter the caribbean they tend to intensify and if conditions are right they may in it will intensify and we're going to have to keep a close eye on it especially if you live in cuba or haiti or puerto rico we're going to have to watch this very closely because it may affect your area in the next week and it may be arriving at the lesser antilles about let's just say around wednesday now we're going to be reading the national what the national hurricane center says about this storm and it says that a broad area of low pressure associated with a tropical wave is producing a small cluster of showers and thunderstorms over the eastern tropical atlantic some slow development is possible throughout the end of the week while the system quickly moves westward west west northwestward about 20 mile per hour likely reaching the lesser antilles late wednesday or wednesday night formation chances in the next 48 hours low 10 20 percent and in the next five days is a low 30 percent so the national hurricane center says slow development is possible with this system which means that 
it may not develop fast but it may take a time to develop or regardless it's going to enter the lesser Antilles around Wednesday or Wednesday night so you guys are going to be you guys in your lesser Antilles could be getting affected by this about let's just say around about Wednesday Wednesday around Wednesday night and development slow development is possible with this system so you guys are going to have to keep a very close eye on this because it may have a chance of development in the next five days so thank you for watching this podcast and i'm going to be doing more podcast on this and the next time i'm going to be running models on this and thank you for watching guys